Hey, everybody. I am Eric J. Olson, your host of the Managing Partners podcast, where we speak to managing partners from across the country to find out how they started their companies, how they're running their firms, how they're growing their firms, and how they're keeping their case pipeline full. And today I have with me, I'm very excited, John Fisher. How are you doing, John? Hey, I'm great. Thank you, Eric. Appreciate it. For those that don't already know you, let me introduce you. Here's his bio. John Fisher is the founder and managing partner of John H. Fisher, a medical malpractice law firm in New York. He is the author of The Power of a System, How to Build the Injury Law Practice of Your Dreams, available at ultimateinjurylaw.com. By the way, I listened to that book and it is excellent. He also has a new book named The Law Firm of Your Dreams, available on amazon.com. He also heads the Mastermind Experience, an exclusive mastermind for personal injury lawyers. Welcome to the show, John. Thank you, Eric. Appreciate it. Well, besides what's in the bio, which which is there's a lot of stuff in there, but tell us a little bit more about you, your firm, when you started the firm, things like that. Well, June 2nd of 2010 was the day I got let, let go by my firm. I'd worked there my whole career, about 14 years, and uh, I didn't know what to do. And so uh, basically, I'm thrown, completely shocked, uh, get called into a partner's meeting. They said, you know, time that we part ways. And at that point, I had no clue to do what to do. But in December of 2010, I went to a beach. And what I what I knew I had to do was take the information that was in my mind and get it down on paper and document every core process, every system and policy that I had. So I started writing and writing. And then I kept writing more, everything from marketing management to the technical aspects of running a firm, administrative minutia. I wrote it all. It took about two and a half years. I completed it. I packaged it into a book that's called The Power of a System. And when I got done, my publisher, Advantage Media, said, uh, there is way too much information in here. This, this could be three books. And I said, I don't care. Put it all out there. And I gave it away. And that really was a very selfish motive in doing this, which was I wanted to document the core processes of our law firm so we wouldn't be repeating tasks over and over again. And anyone at our firm would know exactly what to do at any given moment. So if you get the power of a system, you might think, wait a minute, this doesn't sound like a book about law firm marketing and management. This seems like a book uh, that that sets forth the game plan, the office policies for this lawyer's firm, and that's exactly what it is. You're getting the inside map of how we do things, everything, scheduling depositions, settlements, trial preparation, you name it, hiring and firing, even opening the, the front door. Everything is packaged into the power of system. And so, and I gave it away. And when I first went to a partner's meeting, because this book had, had, had been in the works for quite a long time, and what the lawyers in my firm, there's a, we were about seven or eight, they said, this is absolutely idiotic that you would give away everything that you know. And I said, well, uh, no one else is doing it. So why not? And so I just gave it away. And what I found, Eric, is that the best thing that anyone can do is when you give away everything that you know, it comes back to you in spades. So it's $26, but I give it away for free. If anyone asks me for a signed copy, I mail it to them. Uh, and, and, and what I find is it just builds relationships. And uh, I've spoken at national uh, convention speaking events. I spoke uh, this year in Arkansas at their Trial Lawyers Association. I've spoken nationally for American Association of Justice and all these other things. The reality is the book is the, you know, basically the calling card to get invited to speak nationally is a book because how many people have a definitive hardcover book? It's, it's huge. So then I spent about four and a half years writing my second book, which is a far more comprehensive book called The Law Firm of Your Dreams. And that book covers everything from marketing, management, trial practice, you name it, mindset, which I consider most important. It's a 500 page book and I put just my best content in the law firm of your dream. So anyone listening to us, your fans, your followers, I'm happy to mail a signed copy of both books to them if they email me and I'll be happy to give you that email address. It's jfisher, F-I-S-H-E-R, lawyer at gmail.com. 
or call me 518-265-9131. That's my cell. You can text me or call me. Happy to give this to you. But Eric, the thing that I did with these books was I decided that it's not really that productive to have an office manual, something that is a physical product. People don't really look at it, read Mm -hmm. it. It doesn't matter. The only way to get people to really buy into systems is to have them create the systems because then it's their product. They've made the system. And some the most common question is, where do you begin? You begin with the most basic administrative mundane minutia of your law firm. How do you open the office? How do you send a fax? During the pandemic, I didn't know how to send a fax. And I'm thinking, what do I do here? You know, so there's the basic stuff. How do I send a letter? I didn't know. And my none of my staff was in my office. So I'm like stuck. And I said, I've got to to create a system for every little aspect. And so fisherpedia.com, F-I-S-H-E-R, and then pedia.com is a wiki style website. And the goal of this is anything that anyone would want to do, how to archive a deposition uh, testimony. uh, It's all there. It's got video. It's got screenshots. And anyone listening, Eric, uh, can have access to Fisherpedia right now. I will put in the chat the login as well as the password. Uh, the password is 278WALL, small, lowercase, W-A-L-L. And the login is, the user is Fisherpedia, F-I-S-H-E-R-P-E-D-I-A. So if anyone goes in, nice. they email me, I'll give them access as well. But anyone could go through that and copy and move any of the systems and, and you might say, well, what, where do you begin? You begin with anything that is a recurring task for your law firm. So if you give the same answer over and over again to something, you've got to stop doing that. Because Peter Drucker, when he wrote The Effective Executive, said that the number one thing that really bogs down a business is that the owner of the business is answering the same questions over and over again. And you've got to stop that. Whenever that happens, you have to create a system or a policy to address the issue, share it with your team, ideally get them to create the system because members of your law firm will know how to do things better than you will. How do you electronically file a new lawsuit in federal court? I don't know how to do that, but I can tell you when one of our our paralegals was out once and no one else knew how to federal how to file a federal lawsuit electronically. And I'm like, well, we got a problem here because it needs to be done that day. And so we had an intern from Germany who who goes into Fisherpedia and she goes, oh, it's all right here. And there's video, there's screenshots, there's text explaining exactly how to file a lawsuit in federal court. Five minutes later, the lawsuit was filed. Uh, The other day, I, I was on a conference call with the judge and the phone line didn't work. And I said, no problem, Judge. I can set up a five-way conference call for everybody. Of course, I didn't know how to do that. Go into Fisherpedia, uh, how to do a conference call. Boom, boom, boom. A couple minutes later, I've got five other attorneys and the judge on the same thing. I didn't even know how to do that. But Fisherpedia gives you the ability to do whatever you want in your office, the internal processes. Now, you might say, well, We've got to hire a new paralegal or new secretary. No problem. We've got a documented core process explaining step by step how to do that. And so all of the the advertisement for the paralegals right there, copy paste, where to to file it on the different job sites is right there. Your process is even for an interview. Every question that I ask an interview, it's right on Fisherpedia. Anyone could go into an interview and know what I'm going to ask because it's part of our process. And that gets us to the most common question that I ask people in an interview. What did you do to prepare for this interview? Because the level of preparation that they made for the interview is going to be the same preparation that they do on the job. And if they didn't do much other than look at our website. But what I ask them to do, uh, Eric, is recite for us the four core values of our law firm and the purpose of our law firm. Because that's actually right in the job description. And if they can't do the advertisement, if they can't recite it, then they didn't put much effort into preparation. So having candidates come in there and say, I'm going to recite your core values and the purpose of your law firm right now, then I know that they've spent the time in preparation. Documenting the core process is so vital. And this is what has made McDonald's the biggest restaurant chain in the world. 
because everything that they do is documented carefully so that if you get a burger in Indonesia, it's going to be the same one that you would get in Raleigh, North Carolina, because that, that burger has been on the grill for the same time. The fries are in the fryer at the same time, the whole thing. And, and see, that's the thing. Every law firm should be running like yeah. McDonald's with core processes that are carefully yeah. documented and laid out. So if someone were to go to Fisherpedia.com, I'm guessing it, it won't be blank at the very beginning. It's going to have templates and whatnot, but then you can modify it for your own firm. Is that the way it works? Yes. Yeah, so you can modify it. It's basically it was set up. It's a WordPress website that was set up for a thousand bucks and um, there's no recurring fees. And anyone who wants to do this, I, I can give them the information for it. But basically, any user can go in there and create a system. And it gives you the ability to add uh, text. It can add screenshots. You can add video. You can add anything that you want. And one the other day, I said to my son, Tim, who creates a lot of our systems, he would watch what I do and just kind of document everything. He said to me, I said, Tim, how do I add one of these notations, like with an arrow or a circle? And he said, Dad, there's a policy in that for Fisherpedia. You should know better. So he didn't <laughs> answer my question. He just sent me back into Fisherpedia, and he was right. So everything is right there at your fingertips. If Eric, if you're going to a court in, let's say, a specific court, and you've never dealt with a judge, we might have a policy in there explaining where to park, where to, uh, what the judge's likes and dislikes are. And so that you, you're not going in there and getting blindsided by a mean-spirited judge. You already know because you've checked it out in Fisherpedia. Or if you go to an AAJ convention and you learn a lot about internet marketing, just put that into Fisherpedia and share it with your team. So the, the idea is to get others to document the core processes of your team. And where that begins, hire a high school student. Say, watch what I do and document everything. Young kids are great at doing that. And they'll put yeah. fancy screenshots. Like, for example, I could show you a policy called archive video deposition. And, and basically everything, you don't have to read it. You could look at it. You could watch a video explaining everything. Eric, if you want to say, how do you retrieve medical records from your medical record personal health uh, provider? No problem. We've got all, all of the information, including videos in Fisherpedia. So yeah. even though you've never worked a moment in my law firm, you could understand the processes of our firm. And for me, that is the most important thing for running a firm, because if our staff leaves tomorrow, I know that the new staff coming in would have the same access to exactly how we do things and we don't have to retrain them. And we have certain onboarding videos that go out every single time we hire a new paralegal or secretary. So we're not retraining everyone from scratch. Yeah. Uh, from, from personal experience, uh, receiving those kinds of detailed SOPs uh, has been impactful for me. So I had a boss many years ago who wanted to start a new project and the staff, me included, kind of were like, we, we got other things to do, right? And so as we were talking about it, as he tried to get us moving in the right direction, we would ask basically dumb questions. And he would go to the SOP that he wrote and he'd flip through and he'd say, well, the answer is on page 34. And then, OK, I, I read page 34. I got it. I asked the second time some other question about the project. And he goes, hold on a second, Eric. And he pulled it out and took his time. Oh, that's on 57 right here. And guess what that taught me? Go look at the document. I better learn that document before I go ask stupid questions. It worked. Oh, absolutely. Right. Yeah. And then, like you said, uh, you know, the, the hit by the bus syndrome. If someone gets hit by a bus or they win the lottery and they're gone, now what? Someone has to pick up the pieces and they need to do the job. So at least yeah. it's documented. That's well, great. Well, and that happens all the time. We had a fantastic paralegal who left our firm about a month ago. And she's like, I'm out. I'm going into a different career. I'm like, oh, great. You know, but the reality is all of our process were set up for hiring a new person. We hired a phenomenal virtual paralegal with 30 years of experience and nice. she's just digging in. She's proactive. She's she. And here's the thing. This is a selling point for our firm because new employees see this is a firm that's set up for success. Mm -hmm. They they've documented everything. They're sharing everything. And so I know what's expected of me and I know what I have to do. I know there's an organ organizational chart I can rely on. And when I need help figuring out how do they prepare a discovery response, well, it's all there in Fisherpedia. You don't have to guess. 
And so what you're doing is you're giving guidance to new employees on how you do things and how many law firms are doing that? Not many. And so it gives you a real step up in terms of hiring people because they know you are a law firm that knows what you're doing. I like it. I like it a lot. That's really nice. And I think it's very incredibly generous, actually, for you to spend the money to build it and then give it away for free. So um, I, I would imagine any managing partner that is listening to this right now, the, the credentials were provided by John before. And by the way, John, we're going to put them on the video so people can see it if they watch the video. If you're listening to this podcast and you didn't really pick up or write down what those credentials were, then go check out the video. It's at arraylaw.com slash podcast. And we will have those credentials up on the screen when John mentions it. Let's uh, let's talk about the mastermind experience. How did that come about and when did that happen? Well, I, I was invited to a mastermind in Chandler, Arizona in October of 2013. And it was uh, the best internet marketers that in the world basically were there, a small group. And it was uh, hosted by Infusionsoft, which is now called Keep. And I'm there and I'm like, what on earth am I doing here? I have no right to be in this room because all the other people were running incredibly successful businesses in Australia, United Kingdom, South Africa, United States, everywhere, basically. And I, I'm just in there like I, I'm a total imposter. And I was. But when I came home, I told my wife, I said, oh, you know, this is the most amazing event I've ever been to. The founders of Infusionsoft just spent three days with me, and I met all these incredible people from 1-800-Flowers in Australia and all this other stuff. And my wife was like, how much did it cost? And I said, hi, don't worry about it. It's all good. And so finally, I answered $10,000. And she's like, are you kidding me? That's We could have gone on vacation for that. And I said, yeah, but this was the best use of money that I've ever seen. So I started thinking, Eric, what don't lawyers have masterminds? And they did. There were masterminds all over the place, but I saw flaws in each one of them. And the number one flaw that I saw was that too much time, way too much money, you know, like twenty-five to thirty thousand dollars for anyone to even join. And I'm like, no, that's no good. So in a, so I started in a 2014 in Chicago, what's called the Mastermind Experience. The name, the origin of that name is because I wanted people to experience a mastermind just like. I had experienced it so they could see what is it like when you go into a room for one day and people collaborate, share, they cry, they're vulnerable, they're real, and they just share all the problems that they've got and about management and marketing of a law firm. And so we, we did it in Chicago. I didn't know anyone who came. There were 19 phenomenal lawyers. Great. And I met some people. The bulk of them stayed in the mastermind, but it was a whirlwind. And every single mastermind, we got a little bit better. The last one we had before the, well, well, before the pandemic was in Maui. And John Morgan of Morgan & Morgan came to our mastermind. And, and we were just astonished. You know, for about an hour and a half, he's just unloading, you know, real personal stuff. And I thought, everything's confidential, so I can't share any of it. But the reality is that it's amazing what you can do when you tap into the wisdom and knowledge of people who are doing things bigger and better than you are. That is the whole concept of a mastermind. Lawyers in small town America think that they've got all the answers. I guess I give myself a little bit of credit. I realize that I don't and that there's so much out there that others are doing better than I'm doing. And if I can just tap into that wisdom, then my practice can, can exponentially get better in a much quicker way than if I'm just sitting in my office trying to figure it out myself. And the number one piece of advice I'd give to any young lawyer is get into a mastermind, not of your peers, but of people who are doing things bigger and better than you are, because that's where real success comes. Tony Robbins was once asked by someone at an event, and the, the person said, you know, Tony, I don't get it. You you make $10 million and I make $1 million, but we do the same thing. What is the difference? And Tony Robbins asked him, well, who are the people that you hang out with? And the guy said, well, I hang out with people just like me who are making a million dollars a year. And Tony said, that's the problem. You need to hang out with people who are making $10 million a year because you're never going to get to 10 million unless you hang out with people like me. And it was so critical to, to understand that that we don't want to be the smartest people in the room. We want to be ideally the dumbest people in the room so we can soak in the wisdom of others. And I can tell you in the mastermind, our members 
which right now are 191. I could call any one of them on a moment's notice and they would do anything for me. That's the power of a mastermind. We call it a tribe. A tribe means people who will drop anything and just do anything for you. When people go to war in the United States, they think, you know, everyone, like they go to war, it's a horrible experience, people get killed. But you know what, Eric, the number one thing that soldiers will tell you is they want to go back to Afghanistan. They want to go back to Iraq. And people, no one understands that because it seems crazy. Why would you want to go back to that environment? Because that is the only environment that that person has ever been in where other people are willing to die for them. And that is the power of a tribe. When you get around people who will do anything for you, you want nothing more than to be back in that environment. And, and I get that because our world can be dog eat dog cutthroat. And isn't it really cool when you've got a, a group of high achieving lawyers who've got your back and will do anything for you? And so that's what we do. Our next mastermind actually is in the Caribbean in Curacao on February 18th. Uh, and then we have one in New York City on April 9th. And we do this, and, and it's just an amazing event. I, I don't have to pitch the mastermind to any of the people who have been to one because they already see the value of it. There's no recurring fees. It's a thousand bucks, and that's it. And so, but you know, other people look at that and say, a thousand bucks, that's a lot of money. No, so that's an incredible deal. One time fee? Yeah, one time fee. And what that does is it brings them into our tribe, and they'd have access not only just to a private Facebook group where we collaborate and share every day. But also we have a members only website with all of our video, uh, all of the video presentations by experts. And it's just a great resource. So more, you know, and, and the thing is, Eric, the referrals that are, are made by our partners from one to the next are invaluable, but the relationships yeah. are even better. Yeah. So it's the, definitely the best thing that I've ever done in my career is create the mastermind experience. We do have an offshoot of that. That is a weekly virtual mastermind that's called Plaintiff's Elite. And if anyone wanted information, they could go to mastermindexperience.com or plaintiffselite.com. And we have information about both. A, a lot of really good information here. And um, I, the pattern that I see with you, John, is that you put out really good information and you're really not charging anything. A thousand dollars one time fee for a mastermind is how much I've paid on a monthly basis for masterminds in the past. And that's not even the most expensive one. That's a, that's a cheap one. So a one-time fee, now I'm, I'm guessing going to the events, there's there's extra fees, but there's usually a monthly fee just to stay in the mastermind. So I think that's a great bargain. I think the books are amazing, especially if you're giving those away. I think the Fisherpedia is is an incredible value that you're giving to people. So you're, you're really giving back a lot to the community. Very nice. Well, thank you. I mean, the reality, Eric, is that we lose money on every mastermind. So I don't make a profit from this stuff. But and, and, and some people like my bookkeepers, like, come on, when are you actually going to make money from this? And probably <laughs> never, because the reality is I'm not doing this to try to monetize it. How did Facebook become so powerful? Because Mark Zuckerberg refused to monetize his, his business. He said, no, we're going to just keep expanding. And, and all the people who founded it with him were like, hey, we've got a real big footprint right now. Let's start making money from it. And he said, nope, let's keep expanding it. And, and to me, that's the biggest thing. If you can give value without asking anything in return, it comes back to you tenfold. Love it. All right, John, let's wrap this up. I appreciate your time. If someone wants to reach out to you, find out more information, you've dropped uh, several different URLs, but what's a good way? Is it, you, you put this in the private chat here. Your email well, address? The, the best way is my personal email, J Fisher, F I S H E R, lawyer at gmail.com. They can also text or call me on my cell phone, 518 265 9131. Happy to discuss with them anything. If they email me, I'm going to mail them my books, The Power of a System, and The Law Firm of Your Dreams. I can email the audiobook of The Power of a System as well. And any information about the masterminds, I'm, I'm happy to help. Or if someone just wants to chat, I'm more than happy to do that. Very generous of you. Appreciate your time. All right, everybody. If you would like to check out other episodes like this, you can check out our entire backlog of about 150 interviews with managing partners at ArrayLaw.com slash podcast. Each episode is tagged by practice area and by state. So you can find what you're looking for very quickly. And also, if you're looking for digital marketing for your law firm, my company, Array Digital, focuses exclusively on law firms. We provide websites, 
SEO, online advertising, and social media. John, appreciate it. Thank you, Eric. Appreciate it. <clears throat>